previously on the LA Complex. Everyone here does laundry, right? You guys have any constructive criticism? I'd love to hear it. You should quit. Could I crash here for just one week tops? Sure. What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'm gonna give you a chance to produce your own track with Caldrick King. King is no joke. What he spits is what you get. Come out here and get my ass. I mean, this man is dangerous. Did you guys actually write this? Did you actually read it? I'm with the biggest agency in town, and I'm gonna walk this into them and get it made. What's in it for you? I'm playing the lead. I gave the best audition of my entire life for this Usher tour. Didn't get a call. It's not enough to be good sometimes. I gotta see what they see. I really like you. I really like you. You like a narc. Only you rap me out to me. I'm just saying that this guy right here, so that's the man I want to know more about. You need to leave. What? Get out. prostitute. <laughs> dead hooker. You're like an hour early dead hooker. I had to take the bus here and I was worried I was going to be late, so I guess I way overshot it, Great. to be honest. Great story. The trailers are down here. Um, actually, if I have a bit of time, do you mind pointing me in the direction of the critical units that my friend plays Patrick on the show? We're not really friends. I don't know what we are. We're just kind of... So, we'll see you in an hour. It's a little foggy. I drank a bottle of peach schnapps with Kevin and Cam last night. Ew, don't drink schnapps. Uh, I feel like I might have diabetes now. I still don't understand why you slept in Eddie's office. Well, Abby got evicted, and I said she could stay with me for a little while, and then... Tell me you didn't try to kiss well, her. Well, I thought she wanted me to. Nick, she just hooked up with Connor. I know. I was just... I thought we had a moment, and anyway, now I feel uncomfortable being in my own room, so... That's where my life is at. And what'd you get up to? I actually went out. I met this really cool guy, and he took me to this great party. I met all these people. Really? <laughs> Come on, handsome. I'm gonna take you to breakfast. Oh, good. It tastes like the sugar plum fairy took a dump in my mouth. And this is why we don't drink schnapps. Ah, yes. <laughs> Do you guys smell that? No, I don't smell. Oh my God, you guys reek. Where did you get these suits? We got them at a vintage store. Well, you smell like rotten soup. Are they gonna be much longer? Agents are always 20 minutes late. We didn't bring a copy of the script. We should have brought one. They might have notes or something. Relax. This is just a preliminary meeting where we try to figure out which producers to sell it to. Right, right. Hey guys, so Stacy's gonna be another 45 minutes or so. 
45 minutes? Are you serious? Did you guys need some more water? No, we have some. Thanks. OK, I'll let you know when she's ready. We got to go. You what? We're getting paid two grand to shoot a kid's bar miss for this afternoon. If we wait 45 minutes, we're not going to make the ceremony. Do you have any idea where you are right now? This is much more important than some... Nothing in my life is more important than making two grand right you now. You said it's just a preliminary meeting. But, I mean, if you think they need to meet us and yeah, get a sense okay. of who okay. we are... Okay, you know what? No. Uh, it's okay. Go to the bar mitzvah, and I will make up some excuse. Okay, let's go. Abby! Can you wait? Look. Oh, my... Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I have to be on camera in an hour, and I'm bleeding from the head. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not like we were even dating. I mean, you have a boyfriend. I broke up with him. You... Really? They thought that... <sighs> Forget it. No, what, what were you going to say? I don't remember. I hit my head. I thought you weren't available, but if you're telling me that you are... Then... Could you have a shower before we have this conversation? OK, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Dead hooker. Where have you been? Makeup's been looking for you every... Oh, they already found you. That looks great. Um, no, actually, this is real. Am I going to get fired? No, I doubt it. Your character dies from a head wound. That's perfect. Yeah, but what about the diner scenes when I'm... A live hooker. Those scenes have been admitted. Now you're just dead hooker. Wait, I don't have any lines. Or movement. Abby. Don't. Just don't. My go to move, baby. I'm t Dude, you'd have been proud. I would have won an Oscar, baby. I'm telling you. I was like, this is what they want. And this, but that ain't the real me. I'm different now. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, yo, that don't work. Well, I was riding that thing like Sea Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Get in, hey, yo, yo, Tariq, did you meet this girl? Nah, he had already left by then. You left? Why? What happened? She had another girlfriend with her? I, um, look, it was late, and I just wanted to get ready for today. <laughs> oh, that's a good excuse. Yeah. Well, let's hear it, man. Come on. No shame. It's funny. It's got heart. They, they just don't write scripts like this anymore. It's an amazing part for me. And I think we can do it pretty cheap, so. Let me stop you. You're right. Doesn't need selling. Let's just talk strategy. I haven't read the script. <laughs> what? We don't think you're a fit for this agency anymore. We've been given a corporate-wide directive to streamline our rosters. Excuse me? You've become very hard to justify internally. What, what does that even mean? Well, you haven't booked anything in two years, so... Yes, I have. You've just made me turn those down. <laughs> the Hallmark movie? The sci-fi thing? Shark the Gator? Whatever? You said they were bad for my brand. And I stand by those decisions. But this is the best agency in town, and we just can't afford to spend time on talent development. You know what? This is a great script, and you didn't even read it. This is why we turned those other things down. And by the way, I would have torn up Sharktopus. You know, a lot of people watch those things. Justify me internally? Ten years ago, I could have gotten you fired. Good luck, Raquel. Well, maybe it's for the best. OK. You know what you're talking about, so let me just drink my drink and be depressed. I'm just saying maybe they're right. Too far the other way now. Maybe they were too big for you. You were getting lost there. You know how I know? Because you told me you were getting lost there. You've been talking about leaving them for like a year, so you got what you wanted. Go call your manager, get him to set up meetings at smaller agencies tomorrow. Ones who will be excited to have you, ones who realize how amazing you are. I mean, you know you're amazing, right? Come here. You're a good guy, Nick. Thanks. Tell your friends. <laughs> OK. Well, I got to go. I'm late for AA. AA? You're not, but I'm, wait, you were just, that's not. I just go for the networking. Well, maybe listen to what they have to say.
makes the sample, it makes it fuller, more aggressive, without losing all that raw sadness. King wants this to be a track about who he really is, not all that. Something wrong? Not feeling it. This is what we talked about. I'm not feeling it. All right. Can you be a little bit more specific? Boy, I said I'm not feeling it. It ain't my job to explain why. It's your job to bring me something I like. Do your job. You know what? Hold up. He didn't mean that. No, I knew exactly what he meant. And I didn't come here to work with some kid. I came to work with you. You are working with me. Listen, I got some tracks you can listen to right now. No, not today we can't. Today is done. Come on, y'all. We out. What was that? This is what he wanted last night. Well, it sure as hell ain't what he wanted today. So, do you want anything in particular here, like um, look of horror or eyes wide open? Eyes closed, as neutral as possible. You know, like a dead person. No. Tell me what's wrong with this. Come on. Tell me what's wrong with this. What? Her face. I can see her face. On all my ride-alongs, the bag was always closed. I know, but we figure that if we see her face, yeah, well, why don't we just get Joe and Paul down here? Huh? Because this, it's not working. All right. Zip it up. Wait, wait, wait. wait. If we zip this up, will I suffocate? Breathe shallow, dead hooker. Really? No, 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 no. We, we already talked about this. I don't care. Just tell him anything. Hey, hey, dude. What's up? Just tell him I need to approve all post decisions. That's it. All right, yeah. How you doing, man? Good, good, really good. Great, have a seat. Sit down. Okay. So how goes it? Good, great. I mean, yeah, it's a lot of work, but... You know what? A lot of this is my fault. Kind of threw you to the wolves, and that really isn't fair. What do you mean? What's, what's your fault? Well, normally we have a rehearsal period so you can get your bearings, but, you know, we just didn't have the time. This is TV. I'm gonna make it up to you, all right? I got a good old friend of mine. He's phenomenal. We're gonna bring him in and work with you. What, like an acting coach? For everybody? No, he's more of a one-on-one -on -one guy. He's a prof at UCLA. You're gonna love him. You know, if, if it's all the same to you, I'm, I'm not sure I wanna... I think I'd probably just prefer to keep working with you and the directors and... Yeah, well, you know, it's not all the same to me. I'd like to bring him in. Give it a try. He's a bit of a miracle worker. Sure. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think so. You know, just, uh, just working out, getting some writing done, you know. Listen, um, you remember those pills I gave you? Yeah, the ones you were throwing out? Yes, um, did you sell them by any chance? Uh, yeah, why? Did you want half the money? Because we never really talked about that. No, no, uh, no, no, I just, um... Okay, good, because I already spent it. Don't worry about it. Oh, hey, can you ask someone over there when I'm going to get my check for the stand-in work? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Hey, Tom. Hey. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I saw that episode of The Office you directed. So good. <laughs> really funny. Oh, hey. Thanks, Raquel. Thanks a lot. Yeah. It's just too bad I was too young for that, that guest star. No, I know. Yeah. I, I don't have much of a hand in casting. All right, folks. Let's get started. See you in there. Yeah. I just felt like I couldn't get any lower than that. That had to be my bottom. I get up, I get dressed, then I go out. My husband started drinking around me again and I don't know how to tell him to stop. If you had told a 12-year-old me that I was going to grow up to be the most successful dentist in Beverly Hills, I probably would have punched myself in the face. I mean, I wanted to be in show business. And that's the last time I remember actually wanting something. 
And I realize how pathetic that is because A, it's show business, and B, it was 30 years ago, but uh, I'm sober now and I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life, and that's what I keep coming back to. How I really need something. I need to want something. I need to do something different because this, this isn't working. Hey, Gary. Raquel, it's Gary, right? Well, how's it going? You know, one day at a time, right? That's the rumor. Listen, I don't want to be crass, but um, I heard what you were saying up there. And um, I have a really great script, if that's something you're interested in doing. Are you pitching me a script at AA? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... you said you didn't want to be crass. Well, which part of this isn't crass? Okay, I just... Not interested. Hey, Tom. Not cool, Raquel. Yeah, I'm, I'm not in Goonies, I'm in the other one. Okay. Thank God you're here, I realized I didn't get your number. I know, I know, I'm so happy you're working here. I can't stop thinking about last night. Me neither. Can I, I, I want to ask you something. Can you maybe sit down here for a second? Okay. Okay. Okay, so I know we, like, just met, but I feel really connected to you and really safe. And, uh... Oh, I don't know how to say this. Just say it. Okay, Alicia... Alicia, would you consider making a sex tape with me? Ricky, uh, Gavin. Yeah, this is Gavin. Gavin, this is Gavin Morrison. Ricky speaks very highly of you. I can sure see why. I'm sorry. Who are you? Oh, yes. Right. Sorry. I'm uh, I'm Ricky's manager. I was just bringing her up to speed. Great. Sorry. Oh, I see. So, okay. What no one really talks about, Alicia, is that there's a lot of money to be made here. Now, publicly, of course, we act as though the tape was leaked, never meant to be seen, just two young people recording their lovemaking for their own viewing pleasure. So I mean, It would just be the two of us. I'd film it. Absolutely. It needs to look amateur. Well, I'm pretty good with the camera. So. Now, I've had some preliminary talks with a lot of companies, and they're all very interested. We're talking about a very big payday up front, as well as a substantial portion of the back end in terms of sales. And that's that's for both of us. Thanks for thinking of me, Colin but... Farrell, Pam Anderson, Paris Hilton, Fred Durst, Kendra Wilkinson, Paris Hilton again, Pam Anderson again. I mean, you'd be hard-pressed to find a sex tape out there that hasn't raised the stock of both parties involved. Mm -hmm. I got it. I mean, okay, maybe you won't be the next Kim Kardashian, but at the very least, you know, it's a very big payday, and then after that, I can book you into all kinds of club appearances and parties across the country. Right, that's the thing. You remember last night, all those people you met? That's nothing. In the next six months, you're gonna meet more people than you can imagine. You'll be Googleable after this. Think about that. Now, I'll be honest, I'm jealous. I'd kill to make a sex tape with Ricky Lloyd, but God, maybe the wrong kind of lady. That's... You know, normally, the only downside here is that, you know, people are gonna want to see you naked, but in your particular case, Okay, look, I know it's a lot, Alicia, but just know that I don't want to do this with anyone else. I really like you. Stop talking to me like I'm a stripper. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Why do you want to do this? I'm telling you, I'm really comfortable. Why do you want to do this? Look, working hard isn't working, and being good isn't good enough. No matter what I do, I can't get noticed, and so I need to do something that's different. It sound like anyone you know? Am I good to go? No, uh, yep. Yeah. I got your contract right here. Hold up, this isn't right. I'm supposed to get paid a lot more than this. Yeah, you were also supposed to have lines and be seen on camera. You're, you're like the only downgrade you to SOC. No, no. Get my agent on the phone, because this isn't going to fly. We called him already. He signed off on it. So. He did? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to sign it, but we can't process the checks until you do. It's so. fine. Can someone at least give me a drive home? If you don't mind waiting a couple of hours. Never mind. Nice working with you, dead hooker. Okay, here we go. 
glass blowing. That's a weird profession. Do you have any idea how many glasses you have to blow just to get your foot in the door? Uh, I, <laughs> uh. And you know, I'm from Canada, which is weird. You know, people watching? Why don't they call it watching people? The thing that I hate about, about cereal, I don't even know what you're talking about, fella. Oh. hoo -ah. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know what that is? That's... <coughs> it's the United States of bananas. Uh, I'm Tim Shepard. Good night. That doesn't make sense. It, you, they're talent agents, right? So they want to pass it on to their literary guys and get them stoked on it. You guys might end up getting wrecked because of this. For real? They said that. Yeah, I wish you guys could have been there. Oh my god, this is amazing. This and Ellen Page in the same day. Yeah, what, about, what, what about Ellen Page? Our friend Steve kind of knows Ellen Page, and he said he'd get the script to her. <laughs> Why would you do that? What do you mean? If she said yes, we put no, it No, no. I thought we were doing this movie together. We are. We haven't raised any money yet, so why not keep our options open, right? Right? Look, if our script is so good, why don't you option it from us? Give us some cash. Otherwise, I don't see why. Okay, we... first of all, I just walked your script into the biggest agency in town and have them thinking of representing you, so you're welcome. But if you want me to stop that, then you just say the word, and all that goes away. You need me. And I'm telling you, I want a three-month exclusive on this, or I walk. Right now. Your choice, boys. OK. OK. I really don't like this side of you. Well, I don't like your handshake. So, cheers to loyalty. But I'm in trouble, dude. I mean, if he tells them... Why would he tell them? He'd have to out himself, too. He was in prison. Maybe it's like a weird power thing. He's not going to out you. I'd be done. They won't fire you just because you're gay. Trust me. I'd be lucky if all they do is fire me. They don't know yet, but they hate me. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know how to help. Just, just tell me it's going to be OK. It's going to be OK. Nope. Didn't buy it. I don't blame you. I literally couldn't act my way out of a plastic bag today. Mm. Hey, it's Abby. Leave a message. Hey. Lily, right? Hey. You look like you could use some company. Yeah. You wanna go get a beer? Yes. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's go. Just leave that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Wow, you're still here. After a set like yours, most people get the hell out of Dodge. Well, I would, but I have nowhere to go. I can't go back to my apartment because there's a girl there. <laughs> yeah, you want to stay away from there. Uh, it's complicated. It always is. This guy broke up with me today. I didn't even like him. Pisses me off. Ugh. Thanks. I'm sorry. Well, stick around. I'll try and cheer you up. <laughs> How? With your words? <laughs> right. 
No, I need me a good old fashioned blackout drunk. <sighs> Let's do some things we'll regret tonight. You're funny. And you're not. True story. You ready for this? Not even a little bit. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, really? Already? Okay. Oh. Oh. Get the door. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. Don't you treat me gentle. I wouldn't think of Choke me. What? Choke me. Uh, oh, uh, you know, I'm good. It's okay. I like it. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I just, I'm not really the... Choke me, Tim. Do it. Choke me out. Uh, okay. Uh... Yeah. <sighs> Um, uh, uh, serious? That, no, 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 no. Okay, choke me for real. Okay. Come on, it's the only way I can get off. Okay. Really? That's that's terrible. Is that true? Forget it, you what? Nancy. Just pass me my cell phone. I'll call somebody who can get it done. No, 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 no. I can do this. Yeah? I can do this. Yeah, okay. absolutely. All right. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, there you Choked go. Choked you real nice. Yeah. Uh, why not, right? I just, yeah. You all about choking you so nice. Okay. That's... that's that, uh, just choke Megan. Megan? Oh, my God. 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 You're just sleeping. Right, so... This is what counts as a win now. Morning. Morning. Hey, can you run these with me? Oh, sorry, I, I gotta be there half an hour before call, so I should go. Okay, um, I'll drive you. All right, but I don't think you're calling. That's fine, it's no problem. Did, did you sleep? Yeah, I'm fine. Morning. Morning. What the? F what? What are you doing here? Oh, well, you invited me over, and I didn't. I, well, you, you passed out after I choked you. I, what did you do to me? No, 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 no. You, you wanted me to remember, but that, but then you passed out. So. So I, you kept going? No, no, no. I stopped. I definitely stopped. But, uh, but then you know, I just you had a lot to drink last night, so. Oh, you're gonna get all judgy on me now. That's attractive. I, okay, I think I'm gonna take off. Actually, do you mind if I take a shower? Get out! Okay. I'll just fly down to Miami. I'll do it next week. You wanted to see me? I don't want you in the studio today. Wait, what? Look, I'm Dean. not saying this is forever, all right? Because I like what you put together for him. But producing is more than just making good beats. It's also about managing the artist. Hey, listen, he is like... He a... doesn't like you. So he's not going to like anything you have to offer, no matter how good it is. This isn't fair. Why don't you go wash my cars? And I'll call you if I need anything. That's what I'm talking about. I want you to look off your face, too. Tariq. Shut up. You got to tell him, though, you know what I mean? No, thank you for meeting with me. Water? You got anything stronger? <laughs> Kidding. Water's great. Uh, I just felt like uh, it was time for a change. I felt like we were growing apart. I left. They didn't. I don't know where people are hearing that from. Actually, there's this script. It's amazing. Uh, no, no producers. Not yet. No, no stars. Well, I mean, I'm in it, but I just think it could be like a really good comeback role. No, not, not that I went away or anything. I see myself? That's, that's a good question. No, no, uh, well, I'm unique. 
I'm, I'm kind of an every girl. Uh, I'm like Carrie Mulligan. No, I know Carrie Mulligan's only 23. I'm just ready to work. I just want to work. I'm just ready to work. Thank you, but you won't be moving on today. And thank you for seeing me. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you. Hey, hi. Uh, Gary, right? I'm Raquel. I'm a friend of Bill's. Oh, I remember. Uh, I, I wanted to apologize. I have no idea what I'm doing lately. It's okay. No, it's not. This is stupid, but um, I'm just going to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm still not good at talking to people sober. Me neither. Probably wasn't good at talking to people drunk either, but. Right, but now it's a lot harder to forget. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry too. I was a little harsh. Well, I deserved it. No, you didn't. Not good at handshakes either. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, okay. Do you want to go practice talking sober somewhere? Sure. Yeah? Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> by the way, how did you? I Google stalked you. Nick? Oh. Huh. Abby. Alicia came by earlier. She wanted to talk to you. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, any other messages? Are you avoiding me? Am I? No, I'm, I'm showering. <laughs> because I haven't seen you in, like, days. I, I got busy with, with, with the busyness. It's my busy time now, so... So we're good? Yeah. Great, great. Anyways, cause of death was a total disaster, so I'm still super broke and homeless. Do you mind if I stay here a couple more days? Yeah, uh, sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, gosh, Nick, I love you. You're a superstar. Cool, well, if you could just so on you your way out. So you want to stay in tonight? Maybe not spend money, be depressed? Sounds fun, right? It sure does, but I can't because I have a set of the comedy tonight. So. Really? Yeah. Is it free? Can I come? Well, it is free, but I, you know, you shouldn't come. My act is in kind of a, a nascent stage right now. Nick, and... I want to do something that doesn't involve me staying home. <laughs> Please. Okay. Awesome. Well, scrub it up, buddy. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I hardly know her. She's your sister. Stepsister. I may have met her four times. Listen, I need to talk. She's so proud of you. She's bragged to all her friends about that Usher tour. I didn't even book that. That's Why would you? Pulling up. I haven't even started dinner. Mom. I have to go. Love you, sweetie. Hey, there she is. I'll just get your Jane Hancock here. Okay. So I guess I will leave you guys to it. Unless anyone wants anything. Water? People good for water? I'm good. Yeah, I'm yeah. good for okay. water. Yeah. Great. Okay. Have fun. <laughs> You know, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you need time to think about this. I have thought about it. Okay. And action! You're being too hard on yourself. He was only 14. We did everything we could. Did we? 
Still rolling? Let's get the menthol stick in here. I need the tears, man. West was very specific here. He needs you to cry. I'm sorry. I can do this. I don't need the menthol stick. I can do it. Look, obviously you can't. We're already running over. I don't have time to, to handhold you through the next 10 takes. Just use the stick. Can you please just... Pick it up. Last couple of lines. And action. You're being too hard on yourself. He was only 14. We did everything we could. Did we? Cut! Thank you! Every trick in the book. Okay, where are we going? Mortuary, how fitting. Moving on. I'm not married. I mean, I, I don't know what this... Oh, no, you, you mentioned that in the meeting. Right, right. Yeah. Um, you have a daughter? Yes, she's 15. Oh, yeah. no. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, that's a terrible age for girls. It really is. Mm -hmm. She really, really hates talking to me right now. <laughs> well, the trick is to find silent activities to do together, you know, like watch movies. Yeah, I already figured that one out. We watch a lot of films. Oh, films. Oh, well. Yes, I'm a bit of a cinema snob. I grew up watching the classics. The whole reason my mom came out here was she wanted to be the next Grace Kelly. Hmm. How'd that go? Well, have you ever heard of Roberta Blackwood? No. That's how it went. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, midgets. Am I right? I've had it up to here with those guys. He's there. <laughs> ah. uh, yeah, they're not laughing at my set, believe it or not. No, they're laughing because Megan's telling them all how bad I am at sex. Uh, Megan's the one who just stopped laughing. There she is. Hi, Megan. We were doing it. Uh, last night, and, and she informs me that the only way she can have an orgasm is if I strangle her. Uh, and, uh, of course, I had heard of this before, and by heard, I mean seen on the internet. So yes, I start choking. Okay, look, I'm not great at it. I'll admit it. What about me screams would be good at strangling? I mean, if she was looking for someone to say, watch The Notebook with while she talked about her boyfriend, I totally get that. But, like, if you're casting your fantasy rapist, why not go all the way? Go get yourself a UFC Vin Diesel looking dude. I'm thinking face tats and track marks. Why pick the guy who, let's be honest, looks like a malnourished James Franco? So I, I started strangling her. So when did you decide to become an actress? I don't, know, I don't really ever remember not wanting it. I'm sure there was a princess phase in there at some point. I'm envious. You have something that you've always wanted, you're doing it. It's working. Yeah. No, uh, it's not working. Basically, I just run around. Auditions, meetings, changing outfits in the car. Can't change my hairstyle without asking my agent first. And I get recognized for something I did 11 years ago. So, uh, it's, it's not working. It's dumb, but I really feel like this script is my last shot. I don't know. Maybe I've lost all perspective. Maybe it's awful. Can I read it? Oh, I didn't mean... For perspective. Well, that would be amazing. I'm glad you stalked me. Me too. We're done. Okay. You want me to drive you home? No, but I need you to drive the king home. For real? Look, everybody's gone home, and I sure as hell ain't gonna do it. Just keep your mouth shut, Tariq. Mm. Are you okay? It's just the lighting is not, you know, I want it to look... The white wall is a lot of bounce, so it's not...
You not coming in? You for real? So now you don't want to come in? I have been washing cars all day. Dynasty thinks that you hate me. I think you hate me. Tariq, nobody hates you. All right? But I got rules. Not in Cali, never at work, and nothing I can't walk away from. Tariq, you got to understand, I got to treat you a certain way around other people. So if we're going to do this, we got to play this close to the best. No. What you mean, no? I'm about to get fired because Dynasty... Dynasty ain't going to do nothing. I got this under control. Did you not hear the part where I said I'm breaking all my rules for you? You scare me. All right? And you know why. Hey, it's Abby. Leave a message. You have reached the voicemail box of Nick Wagner. Please leave a message.